Hi, it's Mr. Dang, and for today's Friday Functions video, I'm bringing you a twofer. I'll be describing one of the most impactful functions that I've used uh, in my app building, and I'm going to be starting with the basics and then extending it in the second video. So let's get started with learning more about Patch. Let me first start by talking about what Patch does and its syntax. Patch can save data back to a table. It can write data to each of the columns in a table. It could also update existing data from a table. Let's go over some of the syntax. Like any of the other Excel formulas, it starts with its name, and then in between parentheses, we place its arguments. The first argument is the table. What's the name of the table? The example that I'll be showing you is the quizzes table. The second argument is going to be what am I writing to? Am I writing to a new record or am I writing to an existing one? In which case, am I updating a record? If I'm writing to a new record, I'll use the defaults function. If I'm using an existing record, I'll probably use lookup or first filter. Finally, what data am I writing? If I am, I can either write data one column at a time between curly braces, or, and I'll talk more about this uh, in the second video, I can write the updates from a form. So let's go into Power Apps and just write a simple patch statement to save data. And I'll make a little comparison between patch and submit form at that time. I've pulled up an app that you might recognize. If you were on the open house call I had a few weeks ago, this is my app where a teacher can create a formative assessment. Going to the create page, I have a space where it's going to involve writing data back to a table. I created an auto save feature inside the app. So right now it's actually saving an, uh, a record automatically. And then after that, I'm updating the record as I make changes. Suppose I wanted to write the data from this title field and whatever I type into the description, save it back to a table. I would insert a button on the screen, I'll call it submit. And then in its on select property, I'll use a function called submit form and then the name of the form, form quiz main. It saves all of the data here to this table. That's how I use submit form. Very simple, straightforward. Now I could use a patch statement to write the exact same data. You won't need to do this and I wouldn't suggest you do this uh, because the way that a form is set up, submit form is intentionally uh, the most efficient way that you could save data. But you could do this anyway, and I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna write patch. The first argument of patch is the name of the, uh, of the, uh, the table that I'm writing to. I'm writing a new record, so I wanna use the defaults function. Between the in, inside the defaults function, I put the name of the table and it gives me a blank record for that table. Next, in between curly braces, I'm going to list out key value pairs. The name of the column, what do I want to save inside that column? The way this form is set up, I have a field for the title and a field for the description. The title control is called data card value 5 
and the description control is data card value 7. So going into this button, we'll call it patch for now, I'll write title colon data card value 5 dot text, the text property for it. And then I'll write description and I'll fill in data card value 7 dot text. So whatever's typed into data card 5, save it to the title. Whatever's typed into data card value 7, save it as the description. You'll see right away that the patch statement is much longer than the submit, um, but uh, the patch statement uh, can get very customized uh, for your purposes. So in the next video, I'll be showing you ways that you could extend uh, the patch statement and why you could use it with forms, which you'll find very interesting. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more interesting Power Apps, please subscribe.